Ever since the news about Ned Fomer from the Try Guys cheating on his wife with an employee became public, a lot of people have been saying that all the signs were there that Ned was a terrible husband, a terrible boss, and a lousy friend. On a few occasions, Ned's wife Ariel talked about Ned's behavior on the You Can Sit With Us podcast. Uh, like Ned and I had the same thing to do one day. Mm -hmm. uh, and we were here in the office and we, we were doing like some PR for the cookbook. We did it and I, we, we drove our, our car separately here. Cause I think I had, you know, I probably had a podcast in the morning or something like that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I knew, you know, like we, both of us were done for the day mm -hmm. and at, you know, four 30, I'm like, okay, I need to go home so that I can be home when then, when, you know, to mm -hmm. take care of the kids. And Ned's like, oh, okay, I'll see you in like an hour and a half. I was like, why? Yeah. What, mm. what why, why don't I? stay here and do work and mm -hmm. and, I, and I'll see you in an hour and a half. You know, it was just yeah, such an interesting yeah. thing. I did, it didn't even occur to me. Ariel also brought up Ned's bad behavior towards her when she shared a little bit more about her experiences with Ned on a different podcast episode. Okay, first I have to give it to Keith. He is the sweetest husband in the entire world. I, I, I swear he talked the entire time about how clean his house is because of Becky. He knows what's because good for of him. Becky. <laughs> he was so, so thankful. He was just like, Becky cleans all the time. Becky's such, so, so, like, so good at keeping our house. Becky does this. Becky does this. The Becky's more beautiful. I, I, I seriously, I was listening to the entire episode waiting for my damn turn <laughs> i was like when is ned going to say how great i am at cleaning and uh -huh. how thankful he is that i do all the work around the house Instead, he <laughs> said you throw out his leftovers exactly ah, exactly because i clean out the refrigerator uh -huh. and i throw mm -hmm. out the nasty leftovers That's so uh -huh. nice and you. he's mad it is so because nice he thinks that like i threw away his meat because i don't like meat <laughs> What? What is that? Right. What if I didn't clean out the fridge? What if I just then you'd left have it? Like Ten thousand science then experiments. I, exactly. We would have nasty stuff in the back. And it's honestly so sad to hear how hurt she was by his behavior. It doesn't it doesn't make sense? I I love my husband so much, but I was so disappointed. Like Aww, I wasn't even Ariel. mad. I was just like, what? Well, why does he not think that I clean? Just leave yeah. his, I feel leave like his I laundry all the damn time. Yeah. Leave his laundry the out. Don't do it. We all laundry know. Episode. We all know you. The audience knows you. We know. While the rest of the Try Guys partners are being very supportive of Ariel, they definitely don't share the same experiences. And so he definitely stuck out as the problematic husband. Keep in mind also how hard it is to bring up things like that in a casual conversation with your friends. Ariel is obviously really honest and really brave to do that. People also have been pointing out Ned's behavior in the office and Sally, towards his employees, saying that not only did he not care less about getting to know his employees, Bailey, but with only two points, oh, that leaves no. you with the world's <laughs> no. worst. <person. laughs> I don't like this at all. But that he would also lash out on his employees all the time. I am excited to be 35. Married, no kids, on the couch with my husband, drinking wine, employed. I no say. kids, 35. Rainy, oh, good luck that. fighting that biological clock. Oh she doesn't gosh. want kids, maybe. maybe. Well, 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 maybe. I love this for you, Rainy. Oh, no, uh, what the shit? God! Here it seems that the team didn't know how to react to this behavior. And even Zach was hesitant to approach Ned. For a minute. God! God! Should I go check on I maybe I should go check on him. I'm going to I'm just going to go check on him. Also watching those clips of Alex, I get why people are saying that all the signs were there. To Ned cuz you have a hot wife. <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, that sounds fun. We should go." And and he turns to me, he's like, "I'd love to take you, but I'm going to be in so much trouble." 
because his girlfriend is pregnant and she was also in New York. Uh, so he had to be on his best behavior. Uh, and I was like, oh, that's a bummer. Like, you can't go for a little bit. He's like, no. <laughs> 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 just one. Maybe a pregnant girl. Yeah. And Come he was on. like, I, he said something like, I really wish I could take you, baby, but I'm going to get in so much trouble. It's like, <laughs> oh, okay. And then he pulls out. Okay, I brought it because wow. it was in my work bag. I think you got hit on by Post Malone. Whoa. Overall, this whole thing is so sad. And it's also mind-boggling that new things about this story are still coming out to the public. I hope all the wonderful things for Ariel. And I will see you hopefully next time.